Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this specific video we are going to see how can we integrate SMS service in Laravel. As you can see I have created a notepad file right here on the desktop with the name Laravel Twilio SMS service. So simply guys we can use Twilio service to implement SMS uh, or let's say to integrate SMS in Laravel. It's quite simple and easy and the steps are uh, like straightforward. Okay, we are going to see this in this specific video. So yeah guys, where can we use this SMS functionality? Let's say uh, in your application whenever a user is trying to log in, you need to send an SMS. Uh, let's say for the verification code, you can use SMS, uh, let's say Laravel Twilio. Let's say, uh, let's take another scenario. Let's say you have some confidential uh, settings on your application and let's say whenever someone is trying to change those settings, you need to verify that the user is valid. Once again, you can use SMS service by sending the verification code and verifying the code on the application side. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it. So let's start without further talking. So first of all, I'm going to open this notepad file right here. Okay, and let's start with the step one, which is quite basic. In this case, we need to create a less, uh, fresh Laravel project. So let me access Git Batch right here. Okay, so I first of all, I'm going to access HTDocs, HTDocs folder, CDC, XAM, HTDocs, just like that. Okay, so guys, you can simply create a fresh Laravel project using this command. Okay, in my case, I have Laravel globally installed, so I can simply use Laravel new sms this is the project name okay this one right here so if you have laravel globally installed you can simply use this command if not you need to use this one in my case i am assigning the sms uh, the project name different from here because i have already uh, created a project with the name sms for the urdu and hindi lecture so in this case i am going to use sms1 so yeah guys uh, that's it and let's say uh, in your case you want to uh, implement Twilio SMS integration into an existing application in that case you don't need to create a fresh Laravel project so you need to skip this step but it's always better to test the functionality first be before implementing it into the real life scenario so that's why I'm going to create a fresh Laravel project but just wanted to let you know yeah so guys uh, this is going to take some time and uh, to save the time I'm going to pause the video and once it's done I'm going to resume Okay guys, so it's done. We have our fresh Laravel project now. So now we can proceed to step number two, which is creating a Twilio account. So you can simply use this link and you don't need to copy or pause the video to see everything written right here. I'm going to, uh, let's say, create a link for you for, of this file, specific file, and I will share it uh, maybe using Google Drive or else I'm going to paste the whole code in the description so you can simply copy and paste, okay? So yeah, guys, let's move to Google. I'm going to paste the link just like right here. And in my case, I have already created an account. So in your case, what you need to do is first sign up and then it will ask you for your number to verify uh, that it's a valid number and it's an important step so you need to verify your phone number as well okay after that you can uh, once the account is created and you have defined your number what you can do is guys you will move to console by clicking on the console link okay and you will land on the same page right here and here you are going to see a pop-up okay and it is going to ask you uh, let's say if you want a 12 year number you need to confirm or you need to click somewhere right here okay and after clicking that specific link you are going to have this field enabled before that you won't see this field right here okay so in uh, in the first place you are going to see account sid account token that's it and you will see a pop-up right here and in your case if you want a 12 year number to test this functionality you need to confirm it okay after that it is going to assign you a unique 12 year number just like right here okay so yeah guys now we are going to use these three fields and everything is written right here on the notepad file so i'm just going to copy these three lines right here and let's access the subline so let's access our project because i'm in the block right now so open folder htdocs and i'm looking for the sms1 this one right here okay and yeah let's close this one the old one right here let's move and now let's navigate to dot env file let's move down i'm going to paste everything right here just like that now we can simply copy the codes from here 
okay so first i need account sid let's move to sublime and let's paste it right here just like that let's move once again this time let's copy the token replace with this one the token one and let's copy the phone number tell your phone number it's not mine okay yeah guys okay so that's it now let's move to notepad now the step three is to install the Twilio SDK. For that, once again, we will move to Git Bash. First, let me copy this composer command right here. Okay, copy. Let's move to Git Bash right here and let's paste it just like that. Once again, it is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video. Once it's done, I will resume. Okay, sorry for the mistake guys. So first what we need to do is we need to access the project folder. Sorry for that guys. Okay, so let's move and let's access our four project folders. In my case, it is SMS one. In your case, it would be something like SMS or whatever the name you have assigned. So yeah, let's access this. And now once again, I need to run this command. Okay, sorry for that guys. And once again, it is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause. Okay guys, so now you can see it's done. Now we can proceed to step number four, which is creating a route. So I have the complete command right here. And let me copy this one. Copy, let's move to sublime right here. Let's move to web.php. Okay, let's paste it right here. Okay, we are going to use this route, uh, route to test the SMS functionality. So just that, uh, keep that in mind, okay. Yeah, let's move to step number five, which is creating a controller. So I can simply copy this command once again. Okay, that's why I've created this notepad file. Okay, guys. Yeah, so let's move to git bash and let's paste the code. Simple command, guys, you can do that. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's move forward. And now we will move to step number six, which is copying the below code written right here so I'm going to copy this whole code to save the time till here php and let's move to Twilio controller Twilio sms controller actually so control a and replace everything just like that so let's discuss something right here so receiver number here you are going to put the number of the receiver in my case let's say it would be uh, because i'm located in saudi arabia so i can write 966 and i'm going to type a random number first of all just like that okay so that we can see the error okay the message is all about laravel then we are uh, implementing try and catch so we are getting the account sid from the env file that we implemented right here you can see the sid okay similarly we are getting the token from the env file and once again we are getting the 12 year number from the env then we are creating a request client request where we are passing account sid and the token and we are creating a message with the receiver number uh, to the form uh, let's say we are going to send the sms using this number and the message would be which is written right here so as simple as that once it uh, once it is done we can simply uh, see a sms sent successfully message using dd otherwise we are going to see the error just like that okay so now we can test this and uh, in order to test this functionality we need to run the project guys okay so php artisan so Let's move to Google, mm, sorry, this one, and let's move to 127.0.0.1, just like that. Now we can simply hit the route, send SMS. So in this case, we are going to receive an error, unable to create record, the two number, this is not a valid phone number. So you can see right here, it's totally a random number guys. Okay, so now I'm going to put my number right here. So that's why I'm going to maybe blur it. <laughs> okay, okay guys, so. Okay, now this is a valid number. Now let's test the link once again. So hit, let's hit the route. So send SMS. Okay guys, so SMS sent successfully. Now, where can we see this SMS? So let's move to console, Twilio console. So let's move to, uh, from develop to monitor. Let's move to monitor and let's access the logs. Let's access the message. And right here you will see the latest message. Okay. Mm. 
so right here this is the latest message you can see the time okay so it's in utc right here this is the latest message and right here let me show the detail if you are going to click on this link you will see the all the details actually so yeah let it load message detail you can see the id message service etc and the body right here so in order to use twelio you need to upgrade to the twelio account you need to upgrade your Trellio account to use it so yeah guys it's uh, like you need to pay something okay so yeah but it, it, the implementation is easy you can see how simple it is you can send the an sms just like that on the go so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care